Hey guys, Wayne here from H2 Tech Videos. Today doing a quick video going over the hidden features of the ZTE Z Max Pro. And we're gonna jump right in and start with the fingerprint scanner. Um, we're gonna go to apps or app drawer, down to settings. And we're gonna go to security. And then from security, we're gonna go down to fingerprint. You will have to put a code in, so I'm gonna have to give you one of these numbers here while I put the code in. And all right, so now we're in. So the first thing you're, you're gonna to wanna to do is set up a fingerprint on the phone. I've already, I already have one set up, so that's gonna bypass one step here. Um, but set up a fingerprint, and then you're gonna to go to fingerprint management, okay, and tap on there, and then tap on fingerprint. Oh, actually too far. Actually, we're not gonna to go to fingerprint management. You're actually gonna go down to, so once the fingerprint is there, you're gonna to go to quick open app. This is really cool. Um, I haven't seen this, this is the first phone I've seen it on, not that it couldn't have been on other phones, but it's the first time I've seen it, and so I definitely love the feature. Uh, basically, you can program your fingerprint that when you put that finger on and you unlock the phone, it'll unlock to a specific app. Um, so, opposed to just opening the phone and going right to the home screen. So, for example, you could set it and say, hey, when it opens up, I want to automatically open up to Gmail. So watch this, I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna turn the screen off, and then I'm gonna apply the fingerprint, okay? And as you see, it unlocks, and then went right to Gmail, because that's what I had it programmed to. So whatever app you want, you can just program it that easy, and it literally will just take you right there. So I love that, because I feel like it's just, Again, it's just one extra little thing, but maybe you use Snapchat a lot, maybe you use Instagram a lot, and you rather just open the phone and go right there. Maybe you use your phone for work and it opened the GPS, that extra, you know, just, or that extra step alleviated makes your life a little easier. So, uh, again, all you're really doing is once your fingerprint is programmed, then you go to quick open app and then, um, Tap on the fingerprint, and you can, I believe you can set one for every fingerprint. So just to show you right now, I'm gonna add another fingerprint really quick here, just for the sake of it. But I'm pretty sure it'll let you, I'm gonna be all specific and technical. Okay, here we go. So second fingerprint is there, and now I can add a different app. So let's say I'm gonna do YouTube. Okay, let's turn the phone off. And this time, bam, YouTube. So that's really awesome. So literally it's, you know, you can select different fingers to open different apps. So kind of cool. I'm not gonna spend, I already spent too much time on that. So let's move on to the next one. But that's probably one of the funnest features I've seen on this phone that I love. It's just being able to uh, program those different apps on different fingers. So anyway, uh, next hidden feature is gonna come in the camera settings. So we're gonna go to our camera and we're gonna go to settings down here and then video. And the cool thing you'll find is this phone has a built-in time-lapse feature. So time-lapse really cool. Um, really works best when you have time to kind of sit in the same spot and just record and it basically can take a 10 minute frame and it can speed it up into like 30 seconds and just make it look quicker. Um, so uh, a lot of fun things you can do with that. Um, but basically time lapse right here and you've got a lot of different settings and how to focus, all that kind of good stuff. So, well, that's as much as we'll show on that, but you've got built in time lapse, so awesome. Uh, our next hidden feature we'll find in the gallery. A lot of you guys are gonna love this. So we'll go to our gallery. And 
We're gonna go to upper right corner, settings, and we have what's called manage hidden albums, okay? And with this, it basically will allow you to create a hidden folder. Oh, it's not letting us do anything right now. But basically, it'll allow you to create hidden folders for your pictures. Um, so let's see, here's a picture right here. Mm. Maybe hold down. Move to, let's create a new album. Let's just call it new album, there it is. Okay, if I hold down this album, here we go. So we've created a new album, which is right here. And once you hold down on it and select it, you tap on this little eye here and this makes it a hidden album. One album will be excluded and will no longer show in the gallery. So just in case there's pictures you're trying to get rid of or you don't want people to see them, guess what, the album's gone. If I go to the upper right corner, go to settings, and then I go to manage hidden albums, there they are. So it, it definitely could be better, I'm not gonna lie, because all someone has to do is just be a little savvy with the phone or play around. They may find the hidden folder, but either way, it does allow you to kind of keep certain things out of view and just in case you wanna have maybe personal stuff on the phone, maybe it's a work phone or you know, made me other stuff, you know, so that's up to you. But um, anyway, cool thing there. Um, next feature is also gonna be in the gallery app. And if we go to that settings button, you have a built-in GIF and collage maker. So kind of cool there. I don't know if you all have ever used a GIF before, but it's kind of like a motion picture and you can make it kind of move and do some fun stuff. So that's cool. And then you also got the, um, you have the collage maker as well. So you took a few pictures, you want to make them into a nice little uh, collage. Usually you have to download some type of third party app to do that. So I just select three pictures, go to next, allow. And then I can put it into a cool little collage. And they've got some templates down here. Um, style. So you can sort of adjust how the pictures show up in the collage. So it's all up to you. You can do a free flow where you can just move the pictures around. So kind of cool it lets you kind of just be free and just do some simple stuff so again nice to kind of have it built in i have to download a third party app obviously if you want to get super elaborate and that's when you would start doing a bunch of other uh stuff with third party apps so anyway that is the collage maker and finally we're gonna uh show our last hidden feature which is going to be found in the settings we're going to go down to battery Upper right corner menu, go to battery saver. Now this, for some reason, out of the box is turned off. However, you can turn it on uh, with what we just did. Now you've got a couple options with this. You can come in here and turn this on whenever you want, just in case you maybe you know you're gonna be somewhere all day and you wanna make sure your phone really stretches the battery. Turn on battery saver mode immediately or we can go here where it says turn on automatically and then you can set when it turns on. I normally like to do it when the phone hits below 15%. And now if the phone again drops to 15% or below, it'll automatically switch to battery saver mode and that'll help um, with turning off like background apps and just kind of helping to stretch your battery. So definitely encourage you to use that. It's definitely gonna save your life when you need that battery to last, all right? So these are just a few hidden features on the new ZTE Z Max Pro. Hope you guys did find these helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share the video. If you did find it helpful, make sure you also subscribe to HG Tech Videos and have a good one.